Yes, pretty. It is fresh and clean over here. Live shot, Century Plaza Hotel and Spa. Carla Drea, our design expert, is back with us. The theme of the day, the laundry room makeover. How to freshen things yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't think many of us think about redecorating or redoing our laundry room. I but never have. I know. So I feel like I'm bringing something new in the inspiration, but uh, we have to do laundry, so we might as well be inspired in there. So I recently did a laundry room redo, and I'm kicking myself. I don't have before pictures, but you got a picture 90s linoleum floor, dark cabinets. Kitty litter. Was kitty litter, kitty litter yeah. was in there. Still <laughs> and now we did a few tricks and tips to make it into a space you actually might want to maybe want to do laundry. Okay, Viv, yeah. let, let's bring up the first two photos and uh, tell okay. us what you did here. So that is the first photo you can see. And so this is was actually a very narrow laundry room. Again, it was dark, uh, dated. We changed out the tile. Uh, we updated, freshened the cabinets. Um, and then we added some accessories to it. So wanted to show you here, like, just some ideas that's the other side of the laundry room. So what we did too is double duty. So a lot of times, you know, we don't have a laundry room and a mud room. Yeah. Uh, we were gonna do built-ins, but built-ins can be expensive and they take up a lot of space. So just some ideas, if you were gonna do a reno, I'll show you some ideas. And then if you don't wanna do reno, but just decorate a little bit, I've got you covered there too. Okay. Okay. So like, if you're gonna do a reno, have some fun with materials. Like this is a current tile I'm actually doing a laundry room in, super inexpensive expensive but it's fun right it doesn't have to be the same as the rest of the room um, and then subway tile I've talked about subway tile before cheap cheerful what I did in that space was took the subway tile all the way up to the ceiling mm -hmm. which just adds a more dramatic effect you know with a cheaper tile and we removed upper cabinets so if you can remove upper cabinets you know we don't need that much storage in a laundry room where do you put the stuff if you take the cabinets off where do you put what, what's to oh well you put it in the baskets baskets down you low. put it in the baskets yeah and and you usually have some cupboards but if you remove an upper cabinet you'll just make it feel that much more spacious okay and then double duty okay I do this a lot for entryways too if you've got like a small space entryway but you can do this in the laundry room just put a little stool like we did that bench in the laundry room get some hooks put them on the wall and you've got an extra space that can be used, right? So now you've got a little mud room as well. I love how much space they have in the laundry room. Mine's like a closet. <laughs> My condo here. That's like a condo, right? Yeah. Downtown, that laundry room. Yeah, yeah that, right? house, that house is in the suburbs, so okay. I, I, will, I will preface that. But if you just want to decorate, you could go out today and decorate. So let me give you those ideas without reno. So one is baskets, so there we go. Like, I love adding baskets anywhere, but in a laundry room, it just looks so good, and it actually is practical. Like, you can see we took out the other upper cabinets, but the homeowner said she doesn't feel like she has less storage space because she just uses the baskets and put things in them. And also, it just it looks good. you got a color theme going. The next is uh, bold art and bold rugs. So this is kind of my design tip. You can see here we've got art and we've got a bold rug in the laundry room, which you may not think of putting art or rugs yeah. in your laundry room, but I'm going to really inspire you to do that. And the reason is, too, if you don't like the finishes of your space, um, this is a great way to camouflage it. Like, you put a big, bold piece of art like this, and nobody sees the ugly tile behind it, right? They're mm. just looking at this, or the same with the, the carpet. If you don't like the floor, put a carpet on it, and it kind of just camouflages it. And again, going in a color theme, like we go in a color theme in our living room, why not in our laundry room? Bringing some green to it as well. There is some greens. Remember we talked about biophilia. So having, you know, you just feel good having plants around you. It'll make the space come to life. Um, and there's a lot of good faux ones. These are all faux. Oh, man. Faux is in. And then, last but not least, we're going to make a laundry detergent. Oh, are we? So, <laughs> Can we do it in 20 seconds? 20 seconds. Okay, well, just quickly. Okay, so all you need is <laughs> borax or baking soda, a washing soda, soap, and then you grate the soap. See, there you go. Action yep. shot. Grating the soap in there and some essential oil. And you've got an all-natural laundry detergent. And put it in a nice canister, too. So you don't put it in these ugly boxes. Put it in a nice canister. Everything's got a place. Yes. Okay. And that's why it's most fresh. Uh, Homestead's gift card up for grabs. Thanks to Carla. Mm -hmm. uh, email us contests at btvancouver.ca right now, and you could win subject line Homestead's. How much is it? $250. Sweet. You could get all this. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even make your own. Uh, and make chocolate. your own. I bought the soap there too. All yes. the <laughs> uh, Listen, Russell Kate, uh, one final look at weather. It's coming your way. Stay tuned.